Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now in this video, we will find the value of x for which 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x. I would like you to take some time and try to solve this question and then come back for the solution. Let us first write down the equation that is given to us that is 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x. There may be two to three ways in which you can solve this question but the approach that I will use in this video is the most optimum approach for this question. So in the first step what we will do is we will divide the whole equation by 9 to the power x. So we will divide each term by 9 to the power x. Over here we can clearly see that the RHS portion of this equation becomes 1. So we will finally get 4 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x plus 6 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x is equal to 1. Now upon further simplification we can get that 4 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x can also be written as 2 by 3 whole to the power 2x. And 6 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x can also be written as 2 by 3 whole to the power x. Now we can cross check both our equations. 2 to the power 2x is equal to 4 to the power x and 3 to the power 2x is equal to 9 to the power x and 6 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x is indeed equal to 2 by 3 whole to the power x. So upon simplification our equation becomes 2 by 3 whole to the power 2x plus 2 by 3 whole to the power x is equal to 1. In our next step we can take 2 by 3 whole to the power x as set. So we can take 2 by 3 whole to the power x as set. So upon replacing 2 by 3 whole to the power x as set, the equation that we will get is set square plus set is equal to 1. And if we will bring 1 to this side, the equation that we will get is set square plus set minus 1 is equal to 0. So finally the equation that we have got is a simple quadratic equation in set. The equation that we have got is in the form of az square plus bz plus c is equal to 0. Now we can simply solve this equation by using the Sridharacharya method that is z is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So the values of abc from our equation is a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 1. So putting these three values in this equation we will get that minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 whole divided by 2 into 1. So upon calculating you will get two values of z. One is equal to 0.618 and the second value of z that you will get is minus 1.618. Now we have taken 2 by 3 whole to the power x as said. Now over here you have to remember this point that positive number raised to any power will give you a positive number. So the second option that is minus 1.618 cannot be possible. So our answer for z is 0.618. So for solving this equation we can simply take natural log on both the sides and we will get x times ln 2 by 3 is equal to ln z. And in place of z, I can replace the value as 0.618, so I'll finally get ln 0.618. So finally, I'll get the value of x as ln 0.618 whole divided by ln 2 by 3. So upon calculation, you will get the value of x as 1.186. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.